Hey, good morning, everyone. Derek Christians with Campus Waterfowl, and this weekend we are at the Ducks Unlimited Expo in Fort Worth, Texas, at the Texas Motor Speedway. This is a massive event. I'm sure you guys have been seeing it all over social media. Uh, a lot of things are happening here, and this weekend we'll be highlighting some of the collegiate volunteers here that are helping out. Uh, we will be highlighting the Stephen F. Austin chapter. So we have Joe here at the 300-yard range. We got Caleb in the shotgun area, and then we also have volunteers in the hospitality and the conservation villages as well. So all throughout this video. We're we're going to be highlighting them, kind of showing you what they're doing, how they got involved, and uh, later they'll actually have some time to attend the event. So we're going to be going around trying some of the new shotguns that are here on site that we can shoot. And then also we're going to be meeting up with some of our partners, Ken Cartridge and Tetra Hearing, to see how they're doing this off season and uh, what we can look forward to this next hunting season. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, we got a ton of things going on this off season. We're doing a research tour where we're going around and highlighting some of the graduate research uh, students are doing throughout the country so uh, stay tuned for that this off season but then by the time that gets all over with we'll be in the fourth season of the collegiate waterfowl tour in uh, middle middle of august late august so we'll be hunting again here very shortly so stay tuned and uh, i hope you guys like this video hi i'm joe waring i'm the president of the sfa student chapter ducks unlimited uh, this weekend we're got about six people up here volunteering I'm out at the 300 yard range. We're using rifles provided by Daniel Defense. They're 308s. And I'm basically taking people up on the, on the stand up here and spotting for them while they attempt to shoot 300, 300 yard targets. Last year, we went down to the state convention for the first time. Uh, we're a newer chapter. And they started talking about ducks, the expo, and how they really needed volunteers. So when it came up this year, I started talking to my members and seeing who wanted to come. Had pretty good feedback, so we all signed up just to come up here and volunteer and help out the organization. This is our first year volunteering up here. We're very excited to be here. It looks like an amazing time. I haven't had a chance to walk around yet, but hoping to do that this afternoon and see what all they have to show us. Left shooter, hit. Right shooter, hit. Left shooter, hit. Right shooter, hit. Center plate. Hit. Hi, my name is Isabel Bolin. I'm Brittany Zor. We're working in hospitality today, so what we're doing is we're going around refilling waters um, and making sure the coolers have ice in them, and also refilling the pet watering station so that everyone and their pets can stay hydrated. Uh, we'll, we'll meet them halfway. Hey, my name is Caleb Williams. I'm from the Stephen and Austin State University uh, Ducks and Luna chapter. I'm here today to help out with the Ducks Expo. Uh, we're out here to have a good time. This is the Shotgun Village. So when attendees come out today, uh, they can pick out whichever shotgun they want that's on the market right now. Uh, my job is to help assist them. I'll take them out to the shotgun range. They can shoot five shells, uh, answer any questions that they might have, and kind of guide and direct them to help them uh, perform better out here. Yes. How are we doing today? Real good. Uh, one coming to you or going away? Uh, going away. Alright, uh, just tell me when. Cool! Okay, 
Very good. Thank you. Yes, sir. This first one right here is going to be coming to you. Just tell me when you're ready. Thank you. You're on safety. Ready? The Brandings don't have that, haven't you? <laughs> oh. All right. Thanks. Pull. Very good. All right. So it's going to be both of them at the same time. Pull. Very good. Very good. Pretty slick gun. Yeah, I felt good. I'll have to get used to the safety. <laughs> yeah. How many guns have you shot today? <laughs> That's a good thing. Ten. That's a good thing. Hey y'all, my name is Lakin. I'm from the Stephen F. Austin State University chapter of Ducks Unlimited. Um, I'm a sophomore currently majoring in wildlife management and here today I'm at the DU Expo in the Conservation Village. Um, so one of my main jobs is going to be right over here. Um, we have a really cool shooting simulator um, that we can get kiddos to do. Um, we also have temporary tattoos. We also have some coloring books. We have some posters to give out, some stickers. Um, and right behind here, um, we also have some really cool um, organisms and, and different animals that kiddos can pet, such as snakes and turtles and other things like that. Um, we also have some fishing going on. We have um, our game wardens here. So it's been a really great time. Oh, that was awesome. That works in real life. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Good to see you again. This is William with Tetra Green. We're over here at DUX 2022. Texas Motor Speedway. So Booth 114 at Ted Hearing. Derek brought by the Stephen F. Austin group. That's the thing too. Uh, I haven't really shook your hands with him yet. Nice to meet you, buddy. Don't worry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Evelyn Garcia. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, from what you may have seen in the video or, or otherwise, we're the first and only pursuit based hearing technology on the market. So what that means is we've got different programs that are designed to isolate and enhance the frequencies you need to hear for whatever it is you hunt. So more or less the device is acting as a filter and it's only letting in what we tell it. Predator, wild hog, we got all kinds of So it's gonna be different than J frame. With J frame, you're kind of holding it out. Yep. These are gonna want a more, more of a bar. That's the limit run. That's all we need. Are you grunting all, or is it like just strictly air flow? Straight hot air. Straight hot air. <laughs> Yeah, those, so these are polys. Okay. These are these right here are acrylic. So those are polys and we're a little less, not as much air. <laughs> Think of it, man. It's pretty pretty sweet calls. Pretty sweet calls. A little bit different than the J frame, but they're nice.
switched over to King. I shoot camp when I can find it. Yeah, so the funny thing about that. Okay. Oh. Evelyn, you can go and there's a different one. Hey guys, William here with Tetra Hearing. Got the got the, everybody at Stephen F. Austin out here. I got Isabel here. You're the VP, right, of the chapter? Yes, sir. Okay. So she's going to be trying out the Alpha Shields. It's a universal fit device. Derek wore them all last duck season. And um, they're kind of our flagship product um, because in the hearing protection world, a comfortable and feasible universal fit electronic device is very hard to come by. And we pride ourselves on having a 95% fit rate on these. And so, yeah, of course the wind picks up right as soon as we start talking. But, so Isabel's gonna run up there, shoot a couple shots, kind of get a little bit of an experience on how it sounds with the gun compression and stuff like that. And I got a duck call up here and we can run through and they can hear all that, so. Go ahead. I may have to push your hat around a little bit to get it oh, in there. You got fine. some little bitty ears. All right, there you go. Um, go ahead. What'd you think? I could I could barely hear the gun. Yeah, it sounds awesome. like it sounds like a pop gun, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's pretty I mean you can't hear any any bit of the blast at all, which is good. Yeah, I was not expecting to not be able to hear it, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, and then what's cool is you can actually still be talking at, like while you have hearing protection in. Um, and then do you do any hunting? Uh yeah, I just started my first season. Awesome. Um, so that's that's awesome. That fires me up. Um, well if you're duck hunting upland hunting, deer hunting, whatever, you can still have these in and still hear animals and still hear like certain uh, specific things about those animals with them in. So they're, they're pretty cool technology. My favorite part is how well you can hear yourself call it. So this is my favorite part about it. You don't miss. You don't miss out on the sound quality. Yeah. Sounds like you're 10 feet away. So it's the same quality, we're just turning the volume down. Yeah. It's unreal, dude. Kind of canceling out all the extra noise. It's acting as a filter, it's only letting it in when we tell it to. It's wild, dude, I'm telling you. It's wild. You said you was gonna miss. Pull. So not only does it protect your ears, it actually makes you a better shot as well. Yeah, you, was... you walked up here and said you was gonna miss both of them and you dosed it. Yeah. So yeah, protects your ears. You don't miss that on sound quality, and you shoot better. So yeah, it was it's tough to beat. It was perfect <laughs> shooting that. I mean, usually I already have tinnitus right. from yeah. an explosion, so I barely heard that shot. Yep. My ears. Well, were another cool thing fine. about it, we're sitting here having a conversation, and they're down the line shooting, and we're not missing anything. Yeah, and it's protecting that, but it's not taking away from what I was talking. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're really nice. It's I'm gonna have to dude. see about investing in some of these. I, it's worth it. Trust me. It's so worth it. So hi, I'm Ken Johnson with Benelli USA. 
um, here to tell you about our new for 2022 Super Black Eagle 3 28 gauge 3 inch chamber. This is a scaled down Super Black Eagle 3 to meet the 28 gauge platform. Um, all the same features as our 12 gauge 3.5 inch and 20 gauge models. Uh, Comfort Tech 3 recoil reduction system, enlarged controls. Um, this one has a carbon fiber rib to keep weight down and also best extended choke tubes. Um, the retail price is $17.99 in camo. Two and number two. Yes, sir. You want to shoot? I want one coming at me no. first. I want one coming at me first. You want to come at you first? Yes, sir. Say when. Yes, sir. Shoot the same one again? Yes, sir. We'll do the same one again. Pull. Now you smacked it. Well, I guess I'll do one double and then I'll do, I'll do a double on the last yeah. two. All right, you can do one going away this time. Yep. and it's very light. Nothing like a 20 gauge or a 12 gauge, obviously. All right. Now, what's your report double? Sir? The report double is whichever one you want to shoot first, when you shoot it, as soon as the gun goes off, the next one flies right, off. Right, correct. So you want the, the far one or the near one first? Uh, the near one first. Okay. Ready? Yes, sir. Got to shoot. Got to, got to offset it just a little bit. Good going. It's a nice shotgun, though. I know. Yeah, it uh, is. It's nice I'll, thing you can carry that all day long. Oh yeah, that. absolutely. A lot of the youth, a lot of the youth hunters are going to really enjoy that. Brady, what are you shooting? Twelve gauge. The ethos. <laughs> now, have you done much shoot with the shotgun? Much this duck hunt? My first duck season, but I've shot. Uh, Competitively. No, I've shot shotguns before. All right, let's do this. We're ready. Oh, wow. Any safety off? Yep. All right, ready? Pull. Cool. All right. Well, that's so. You got it, Brittany. Which one do you want? Do this one again. That one again. Pull. Cool. There you go. There you are. Okay, pull. Cool. Yes, sir. All right, it's, it's limited. It's ready okay. to go. Which one do you want to shoot now? Same one. Pull. Well, Start over it. There we go. <laughs> nice shot. Thank you. She's next. Come on, girl. You want to try something else? That was fun. All right, get your gun up a little. We're going to shoot from here. Okay. Ready? Pull. Pull. Oh, you were just on that. You just missed that. Oh. Hit! Center target. Three on your left. Hit! Three hundred right. Where are you going? Um, That's what they want in their pictures. The left 300. Left 300. Left 300. Yeah, they used to be orange. Hit! Right? You missed the very first 150. You yeah. nailed those 300. What do you think? That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Wasn't even the teacher. <laughs> All right, where are we up to next? She's shooting pistols. Oh, pistols? All right. Can 
I gri like grip them? Yeah, see? That's going to be Sandhawk. No. That feel good? Yeah. Okay. Can I try that one too? Yep. That one's a little bigger. It's a 45. Okay. You see that one? Yeah. All right. Okay, what's your shooting experience? Uh, well, I have my CHL, okay. so <laughs> if that helps. Well, yes. <laughs> these are very nice guns. Have you shot in one of these before? Not a 45. Okay. Have, no, have you shot in one of the Nighthawks before? No. Oh, you're in for experience. Uh-oh. Which one do you want, tree or the paper? Paper. Okay. Night hawks are custom made. They shoot very nice. Okay. They, um, the way they make them, you have a little recoil. Okay. And I would like. Okay. <laughs> I've never shot a 45, so this is gonna be interesting. Rock and roll. Where's the safety? Or is that the safety? Okay. Remember on the 1911, this is your safety. Okay. So if you don't grip it right, it won't fire. Okay. So other than that, it's ready? It's ready to go. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I told you, you like it. <laughs> that was five shots. It was? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Now, now I told you, you like it. These are very, very good guns. I like that. <laughs> At first, I was like, I don't know. And then I'm like, and, okay, this is cool. And, and the way they make things. You, uh, I mean, you buy it, it's, you'll have it for a lifetime. Yeah, that's what I keep telling my mom, and she keeps getting ticked off at me every time I purchase a gun. No, no, no. When you buy this one, after you're buying this one and shooting it, you're not going to want to buy it. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. I like it. It's for my first time shooting oh. a 45. I, I like that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, that red was it easy to shoot? Yes. Find that dot. Cool. All right, so what do you think about DUX? Man, DUX is an amazing place. This is my first year here. Uh, I, I've loved every second of it, and I look forward to coming back next year. This was also my first year at DUX, and I had a really great time. I met so many great people and got to bond with a bunch of our DU members, um, and it was overall just a really great time, and I'll be back next year. This was also my first time at DUX and it was a lot of work but it was a lot of fun and it was definitely worth it and I'm really glad that I got the experience. Alright Joe, this is my first time at DUX. <laughs> Probably won't be back next year since I'm graduating but had a great time. Um, all the guys at the rifle range are a great group of guys. We had a blast over on 300 yard range. Y'all should really think about coming and volunteering next year. This is also my first time, but I love it so much. I've met amazing people. They're all so sweet, it's very nice. I hope to be back if God allows it. So if you ever get a chance, please volunteer. There you go. Brittany. First time also. Can't come back next year because I will be graduating, hopefully. Um, I had so much fun. I met people from College Station, from North Carolina, Oklahoma. It's been such a fun experience and uh, in the future, I'm hoping to do it again, but hopefully everybody else can come and join. 